Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again another reaction for you guys. It is here guys, it is here. Werewolf by Night, Marvel Studios special presentation. I cannot wait to jump into this to see this because that trailer that dropped a D23, of course when they first officially announced this was happening, even though for the longest time we knew they were making Werewolf by Night. We knew they were doing this special like film or pres as they're calling it special presentation. We knew they were doing it. But they waited until D23, literally a month before it released, to officially announce that it was actually happening and everything. That trailer was fantastic. Horror and that classic black and white, like, universal monster feel. Oh my god, I was blown away. The fact we're getting World by Night, that we're getting this character, is insane, honestly. But at the same time, we've went through so much in the MCU to get to this point that I think it's time. And also, as a little cherry on top... Man Thing is in this, and I cannot wait to see Man Thing as well. It, it's insane that we're now opening up the monster, the horror side of things. Now, of course, Doctor Strange did that a little bit, okay? A little bit. But in terms of characters like Werewolf by Night, Man Thing, yeah, it, we're getting close to Midnight Suns. We're getting close, like, we're getting really close to that now. And of course, we have Blade coming. We'll see how the film does and everything, because right now, as I'm recording this, Things still up in the air. They lost the director, rewrite on the script, all that. But Werewolf by Night, I cannot wait to see this. That trailer was so good because I love those classic Universal monster movies. Like it's insane how I, I felt that tone and vibe immediately from the trailer because like that's obviously what they're paying homage to. So let's jump into it now, guys. Let's get into this thing. I'm done talking. Let's jump in and let's see what they do with this. Uh, I, I guess it's a special presentation. I guess it's a short. I don't know because it's 54, uh, 54 minutes. I'm assuming that includes credits. But, uh, yeah, it's on the shorter side. So, I guess it's a short film. I'm not really sure. Regardless, I'm ready. Here we go. Werewolf by Night. Oh, I like the shift. Oh, the lightning. That's cool. Immediately. The tone. Immediately. The vibe. This is where monsters dwell. Oh. Alongside those who hunt and tonight. This is funeral. Oh my god. Dude. All the heads on the wall. It's like Bigfoot, I think. <laughs> All the people joining the hunt. It's a beauty, isn't it? Yes, it is. 57 confirmed kills myself. Way a play she built for himself here, eh? Mm hmm. Quite a place. After 20 years, I hope you didn't feel obligated to come. But Maybe. The others would have liked. Bruce, so what I do with it after I've earned it will be none of your business. To none be honest, of your that business. Might be the best part. We all believed you would surpass your father. You were the greatest disappointment of his life. Jesus. <laughs> I do hope my. They're like, what the fuck? Time to choose a new leader. A monster unlike anything you faced mm -hmm. will be released into these sacred grounds. I'll be rotting for you. <laughs> and it can have only one keeper. The stone's finally up for grabs, and we yeah. all earn the right to hunt. But she gets to crash this thing like it's a backyard wedding. Elsa is welcome to join. And like the rest of you, she's fair game. Hey, you lucky bastard. You mean you get to go first? You shall go first. Oh, okay. Mm, I love that. Blood for the hunt. Yeah. And so free and so shall be. And so it shall be. And so it shall be. And the mage just keeps going. My God. Yeah, it does. Sneaking around. Gotta be extra. I'm guessing that Blair means new people are joining. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you have to be quiet or else you're gonna alert the monster. Or monsters. About to say. I knew it. I just, I, something's gonna happen. I felt it. Pass each other by. Oh, everyone's fair game. Yeah, fight back. There you go. Careful. Careful. Might be a trap. I wouldn't go in there. 
exactly. Oh, that hurt. Oh, shit. Careful. Oh. Ah. Boom. Ooh. Oh, I saw that too. That's brutal. Okay. They were that close. Didn't notice them. Stop. Wait. Well, of course I was going to go fight you. Aw, okay. You okay? You can't keep counting on me to save you. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, no. Okay. Look, so apparently, these little things explode. No. Oh, damn, it's locked. Can't get out now. It has to be tight and even. Wow, thank you for that. Wow. <laughs> you didn't want to fight before either, did you? Nope. Turning into me. Nope. If you're not a hunter, why do you want the stone? Well, I'm not really here for the stone. You know, maybe we can help each other. Yeah. If you help me get the monster out of here alive, I can get you the stone. Right, yeah. No idea about my family, no. I don't. I know. He didn't say he did. My dad used to tell me stories about my crazy Aunt Frances. <laughs> that when she did, she'd need... <laughs> An exit strategy. Smart. Cost me lucky, bro. Yeah, so okay. don't betray me. Hey, he's called Ted. Ted. Okay. Ted. Ted. <laughs> oh my god! Ted. Hi, Ted. Man thing, Ted. Ted? Mm. Your friend is waiting for you. Mm hmm. To get out. Yeah, there you go. That's better. Okay. Here we go. Yep. Ted's free! <laughs> the Bloodstone did this to you? <laughs> he grabbed yeah. it. Yeah. And threw back a monster. Masquerading as one. Oh, okay. That's why. Desecrating. He freed a monster with a monster. Didn't know that bit. She didn't know that part. Oh, no, no, no. Yep. Yep. She's stuck in there with him. But I'm also a human. Hmm. Perhaps not in the category that you would call a human a human. I would never hurt you or hurt anyone. I'm, I'm oh, it seems like you're going to hurt some people. And the next full moon is in five days. We have plenty of Something's going to have to trigger it, though. You don't get it, mate. He's getting used to her scent and all that. Just so when he turns. I need to remember you. Oh, they're coming in all cult like, okay. Please don't do this. Oh, they're gonna do it. Oh, they're gonna do it. Oh. Okay. Mercy. You wanna see this, darling. Your father died. It's time for you. To turn. To show yourself. To show yourself. Oh, she's crying. Let's say like she's really holding her composure. No. Uh oh. Is, this, is it? I think it's happening. Yep. Yep. Oh, I love the shadows behind her. That's cool. Dude. You're an idiot. Exactly. Oh shit. Gotta add the fog in. Oh, it broke out. It broke out. Yeah. Probably over there somewhere. Maybe. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Dude. Ooh. Damn. Okay. Oh. Exactly. Oh, damn. Oh, it's a long take. It's a long take. You're just zooming in slowly. Oh, shit. The, the blood on the screen. Man. Exactly. Oh, 
Listen, that, that, that would do something, right? Oh my god! Oh my god! Dude! Jack's still in there, but I mean... Exactly! Come on! Come on! Remember. Remember. Of course she's not dead. I knew she wasn't dead. He will now die. He will now die. And the hollow wants to Oh my god! Okay, thanks. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Oh, wow. Change the color. Man, you know, man thing looked perfect. The color and everything is perfect, too. <laughs> Laughing together. I'm the one who comes to your rescue. What are you talking about? I'm... Whatever, man. The end. That was good. As I expected, this was fantastic. This was phenomenal. I wanted this to be longer, honestly. I wanted like an hour and a half of this or two hours or even longer. It didn't matter. I wanted more, but my God, this was so, so, so good. I love it so much. The aesthetics, the tone of it, the black and white, of course, throughout the majority of it. I was quite surprised when we went to color. And like I said, like I was saying in the intro with the trailers and everything, I mean, they really made it feel like a classic horror monster movie it felt so cool and i like the fact that marvel went this direction with this because like the when, when it transferred to color at the end there i liked it because it wasn't like dr strange the multiverse of madness or black black widow or avengers endgame color it was like 70s 80s color like it looked like it was shot a long time ago but it it, it kind of fit with how the black and white because the black and white was like 30s 40s like you know black and white uh film and then we transfer over here it's still not technically in present day feel right so i really like that but i think the way that they told this story and the way they approach with the the tone of it all the aesthetics and just the set pieces and where we were going to be taking place the majority of the film the black and white approach in terms of making the film black and white except for the bloodstone being red was i think the right choice because Having Man Thing and especially Werewolf by Night in the black and white as a first introduction to these characters was, I think, a smart move because it really added that you know monster feel like you would like see like with the Wolf Man or Dracula, Bela Lugosi's Dracula. It really added that, and it, I think it really just made just overall the fight sequences uh, with Man Thing a little bit, especially when he's like grabbing people, like the guy by his head, or grabbing uh, the the what was it, the wife of uh, Elsa's father by the sign her whole body disintegrates and when of course werewolf by night taking it on fighting all of them or whatever and they, even that long shot of slowly panning into that room and he's jumping all around taking them all out it was it worked so well because i think i think the black and white if you would have done color it would have been cool but it would it would have felt very different but it, i think this is the right approach especially with handling these two characters that are on the horror darker side of marvel in terms of the comics and bringing them to, M into MCU live action like this, I think this was the smart approach, and it really worked. And I think going to color at the end is, is going to help us transition to, because I we're going to see these characters again. I'm not sure if it's going to be another presentation like this, or if it's going to be an actual movie, I, I, who knows, you know, released really theatrically. But I think this was smart, because we have these two, well now technically three, with Elsa Bloodstone. But Jack, Werewolf by Night, and Ted, Man-Thing, Having them all now in the MCU now, they're out there somewhere, I think it's really going to add to the darker side of things, which I think they're really going to start uh, leaning into more and more, especially when Blade eventually comes around as well. So yeah, this is really damn exciting. So I, lo I love the opening of it. I love that the, the voiceover and everything and the creepiness of it, and then we get to see the the giant room, of course, where the, the heads of different monsters are on the wall and everything, and uh, there's different hunters and the thing is, with it being on the shorter side, we really didn't need to know the other hunters that much. Just kind of show them visually a little bit, you know. Because back then, when they made classic, either classic horror monster movies or just classic movies back then in black and white, 
like there were times where they did give character moments but ultimately it was just here's a character here's a character here's a character and then eventually we'll get to some story and everything but it was a very different like storytelling back then it was more visual because even though they started getting audio of course in back in the day but even when they started to be able to record audio instead of having of course a silent movie they still mostly focused on the visuals and that was kind of like your way of storytelling over uh, actual you know voice and actual dialogue but of course we had plenty of dialogue in here but it still worked because they really focused a lot on the visuals in this so that giant room we're told about you know what this hunt is and everyone having different kills and everything and then of course Elsa's father who we, we did see in the show a little bit about where he they open up the coffin and he's like talking in like theatrics or whatever and uh, that, that, that was pretty interesting for sure like they're all like the hell's going on here and they all get released into the hunt. And the monster is Man-Thing, as I predicted. Now, when it was revealed uh, after, of course, the hunters, it's all fair game. So they can take out each other, which we were seeing throughout the uh, the hunt. But we see where Jack runs into Ted, Man-Thing, and they know each other. I'm like, okay, so that's why he's really here. Because out of everybody else, and not including Elsa, but all the other hunters that were there, and they're all dressed up, and they're ready to go, and everything, and they're... And she's like, you know, the, the, I guess like widow, whatever, El- I guess Elsa's stepmom or whatever, uh, going off listing all the kills. They're all ready for the hunt. Jack is the one guy besides Elsa. He's like, he's there, but he's not, you know, he doesn't seem like a hunter, but apparently he is, but he does. He is a hunter, but not in the way they think. So he's like, Todd, like, hey, look, I've saved you a bunch of times. It's the last time I want to save you, Ted. The last time I want to save you. <laughs> Or like when he's t- he just talk. I don't think if he's, does he say Ted in that sequence. No, I think he says Ted first time to Elsa, saying when you when you run into him, call him by his name. What's his name? Ted. Ted. Yeah, Ted. <laughs> don't call him Man Thing. And and they and they didn't. I don't think they actually said Man Thing in this in this special. And that's fine because you don't need to because we know who the character is. So. I like the look of Man Thing. I think we, we see a brief glimpse in the trailer uh, that was released in D23. I like the fact that we got a good look, especially in black and white, of the look of Man Thing. And then we get to see Man Thing, of course, in color at the end there. And it was really cool. Like, he's even laughing with Jack back and forth. It was it was good. It was, a, it was a good little thing there at the end. But when he grabs that guy's head, when Elsa's looking for, when Elsa, like, stops the guy, because he's, he's about to go attack Man Thing, like, he would have lost that fight. But she stops the guy. He turns around, and he's the guy I guess has like like the most kills besides Jack having over a hundred or whatever, but not the way you think in terms of kills, like hunts like this. Um, Man, thing comes out and grabs his head. Oh my god, that was brutal, brutal. That was like, all right, there's no coming back from that. And even earlier when Elsa like shot that guy up through his like, well, first cut his arm off and then shot up through his. <laughs> chin down like you know chin area like neck area and then through his mouth my god (laughs) insane intense brutal but but that kind of sets up a little bit later when they start like you know when world by night especially jackie starts like ripping out throats and um and then when elsa like cuts you know that that woman's uh neck and and the blade goes in the head and even cuts back to like the the blade is falling over like yeah, all right, brutal shit. And then I gotta mention again because I I, I, remember if I I don't know if I mentioned it yet. <laughs> Maybe I did actually during the black and white portion about the zoom in. But the zoom in shot of where Wolf by Night is like taking out all those guys, going back, going all around, shit, like just zooming in slowly. I love the one take. That was so good. It was so good. And then the whole thing where Jack breaks out of the the cage in the room. And we're panning all around to everybody, looking around like, where is... And then in that top left corner, as the camera's panning back, you see him. And I like the look of World by Night. I was kind of wondering how he was going to look, because I think, when you think of werewolves, there's a certain look you think about in terms of, like, an overgrown, like, on two feet, like, more like a wolf. Or you think more of, like, the wolf man which is the classic horse monster universal monster movie. That look is so iconic. I was wondering what direction they, they went, they went that kind of route, which makes sense. I think, um, 
but they went that route in terms of more like the Wolfman versus because they could they could have made some changes and they could have made it to where he's more of like a a wolf that you see out in the wild on on you know hind legs standing on two feet the whole time but they went the route of like literally it is kind of like Wolfman so we're gonna stick more like that with Werewolf by Night I think it was a smart choice um, I forget I, I forget how to pronounce his last name but Michael who directed this. Um, he's done a bunch of score. He's done music. And I think this is, the, this is his first time directing round of applause, like round of applause for directing this, because this was so good. This was so fun. And I honestly, I, I want to watch it again. Like right now I want to watch it again. I want to watch those really intense moments. And I liked the, some of the jump scare stuff and everything. It all worked out. It all worked. And it was so cool. Like, I'm so happy that Marvel did this because it just shows that they're willing to do something different. They're willing to take a chance. And sometimes taking a chance, taking a risk, even though I don't think this is really much for risk because I feel like a lot of people are going to tune in to see what this is all about. But it is kind of a risk because it's not normal for the MCU. Like the MCU, like they didn't put out like a, you know, a movie kind of like this in black and white, classic monster feel like a couple of years ago or something. Like it's never, they've never done this, you know? But I think if this does well, if this is successful, Marvel will probably start doing more of these special presentations for different characters. Uh, we've been hearing that they may start doing more of these, so we'll see what happens with that. I don't. And there's things where um, apparently Marvel might get rid of the series and just start doing special presentations, which means less filming because you wouldn't have to shoot six episodes or however long you know your shows. If you're one division, nine She Hulk, nine uh, Falcon Winter Soldier, Hawkeye. Miss Marvel, six episodes, you know, you know, like that Moon Knight, six. Like, you would literally have to shoot way less. You'd have to really alter your story, but you could do special resident. I mean, they, you can even do an hour and a half special present days. I mean, technically a movie, I guess, but I guess if you keep it, like, around an hour, whether it's a little less, a little under an hour, a little over an hour, call it special presentation, I think it'd be kind of cool, right? I think it'd be kind of cool. But yeah, this was good. This is good. I can't, I can't praise it enough. I love it so much. And the music as well, man. The music. Man, it was good. So, yeah. Werewolf by Night is great. I loved it so much. I'm so glad that I watched it. Everyone did a great job. I cannot wait to see what they do next with Werewolf by Night, with Man-Thing, with Elsa Bloodstone. I feel like these characters are going to pop up again for sure. They, I would think they would have to at this point. We'll have to wait and see. But, yeah. Overall, great stuff. Loved it. Cannot wait to see more. Hope you guys enjoy my reaction. I'm curious to know what you guys think of Werewolf by Night. I'm curious to know your thoughts. Whatever thoughts you have, guys, please let me know in the comments below. I will talk to you guys soon. Peace out.